In this video, we'll try to create a new plugin. All we have to do is, first, create a new project, second, activate project, third, create a readme text file, and the fourth test the project. Straight to the first step. By using I. WP Dev Tools, all you have to do is fill out the forms provided. Click Projects, then we click Get Started in the Add Project box. There are three boxes that you must fill in, namely, General, Author and Other. In the General box there is Project Name. Project Name is the name of the plugin you will create. This should only use characters A through Z and Spaces. Remember characters A through Z and Space. After that, we fill in the short name. Short name is the name of the plugin written in three characters and should not be more. Then, project URL is the link of your plugin. Next is short description, filled with a short description of your plugin. And next, tag filled with your plugin tags, such as, sliders, images and others. Version, plugin version, this is also a must fill. Well, on the right there is a box about, author, author, is written with your name. While author URL is your website. Next, fill in the, license, you're using. Along with, license URL. And lastly about the other box, this is additional information can be cleared. Available fields. Contributors, filled with a list of usernames that help you in developing this plugin. The username used according to the official WordPress site. And lastly donate link, it is a link used for donations such as your PayPal link. Once it's all complete, we click save changes. Next step 2. Once the project is saved, you must activate the newly created project by clicking the active button. Step 3. In the third step you have to create a readme file, how? Click the readme menu on the side menu. You will be asked to fill out the forms provided or let it use the default data. This information is used if you want to publish your plugin on the official WordPress website. Long description is a description of your plugin, written in the markdown format. And installation is filled in on how to install the plugin. The FAQ was filled out about frequently asked questions. And change log is a record of changes to the plugin. In the right box, there is a field of system requirements used. Underneath there is a screenshot file name field. Once we're done we click save changes. Step 4. Check if the plugin was created successfully, how? You need to log in to WordPress Live Test and go to the WordPress dashboard, then click the plugin menu. If your plugin appears and tries to activate, if successful it means you've successfully created a basic plugin, 